Hello YouTube and welcome to a first episode of my Kerbal Space Program. Let's play. At the moment we're going to start the career mode which recently came out. Uh, no more sandbox and I can build wherever I, where I want. We're going to go for a career mode which you have science, you have to discover things. Not just have everything for, laid out for you. Um, so we're just going to get straight to it with our Kerbal sign. And this is the first time I've played the career mode so I have no idea. What, oh my god this building wasn't here last time. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. What is that? There's a little weird car there. There's another one there. Hmm. What's that building do? It does nothing. Okay. I can get used to that. We've got our, um, our stupid people here. It's, uh, he's courageous. Ribbery Kerman. Let's hire him. Available for next mission. Hmm. And uh, a Van Kerman. Let's have him as well. But um, there's a restricted amount by the looks of it. So I guess we have to be careful with our Kerbal lives. And what does this actually do? Right, okay, so we... Right, so this is what we've actually... We only own all of this shit. Um, and we have to get research, I guess. Excuse me. Um, in order to progress. So um, I guess the first thing to do is go into space. Um, which is going to be a bit weird. Since we've got hardly anything to go with. Um, but uh, we'll definitely give it a go. Um, so, just make a basic rocket. Let's um, put some of those on, and then we'll have a booster. And then we'll have four of these. Oh shit, four of these, yeah. Um, a parachute to save our Kerbal on his return home. And uh, what else? We need to transmit some data, I'm sure, to get some science. Oh, not four of those, we don't four. We just want one. <laughs> That can go there. Right, okay. Um, there is no staging at the moment, so... <laughs> Sub-assembly? I don't really know what that means. We'll have three rockets, because I don't really know how this thing's going to be able to respond. Um, but hopefully, if we put these there... Stop being a pain in the ass. No, it's being a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's definitely being a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know if I am. Um, what I'm trying to do is um put these boosters so when it lands, it won't topple over and it won't kill our, our lovely little pilot here. So um, we're just going to put this as bleh, test run 001. Uh, and save, and we're going to go straight to... Oh, shh. Maybe not launch, because I just realised I didn't do something. Which is very, 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 very bad error indeed. So, we forgot to put the parachute and the command module in a different sector. So, we're going to put our thing there, and uh, our thing there, and our thing there, and our thing there, and that goes there. And then we can launch. That's better. Yes, clear the launching pad and get rid of it. Right. Test 001. First space run ever from Kerbin is... Go! And we're off. And he's making some good pace up the ground. And he's going about 140, 150, 160, 170 meters per second. And Kerbin is shitting himself. Bill Kerman, as we look inside the cockpit himself, he can't see jack shit. So he's going to be... Oh, he's got a tiny window there. But that's it. Okay, we're making some good ground. We're overheating the engines very badly. We've got some water to the left hand side. Um, and let's have a look on the outside. Do, 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 do. Gotta put the throttle up ready for the next stage and activate. And we're off again. Keep going into space. Hopefully, the fuel's going. Oh my god, that fuel's going down extremely fast. I don't think we're. I don't think we're gonna make it, if I'm honest, into space. But um, hopefully, the Kerbal will still be alive at the end of this. We're gaining some good speed though, at least. Right, okay, let's have a look at our altitude. We're our uh, the top height we're gonna achieve is Oh, it's going up, let's just keep it that way. Oh things are exploding or running out of gas. Right, so if we get to about seventy seventy five ish we should be good. Right, so if we just accelerate here, and we should be out of. Oh 
sort of um right so I don't, I don't really know what i'm meant to be transmitting maybe maybe the crew report is important to them at the moment i mean it is our first steps so if we uh extend our um our thing thingamajig and let's get the crew report yes data size five minutes it seems we are very much in space right now right so um we'll trans transmit the science back to home five data received on crew report plus five science aboard right okay so that is it we're done well for um the data part anyway so now it's a uh, it's a matter of getting bill kerman back home um which i don't really know how i'm meant to do he's coming back into the atmosphere and he's coming oh my god we're on fire uh, it's not it's not going to look good commence the parachuting oh <laughs> We are slowing down very quickly, but um, I have a feeling that we might lose our first Kerbal. There's the scientific grounds. Looking inside the parachute. Look at that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. How are you feeling? This guy's little paw. Look at his little feet! Look at it! His feet are so fucking tiny, look! What the fuck? Right, 100 meters per second. Oh my god, it, oh, it just deployed. And it's success! It's a success! Thank god. Right, now just land successfully. And everything will be fine. Right, we might have to use a bit of thruster here. Yes, yes. Oh, we lost our engine, but that's fine because our Kerbin is safely aboard and he's alive. Ooh, <laughs> yes, there he is. And it's got a very, very, very long run back to base. And we're going. We're just going to revert because we, you know, we we know he's he's made it back. So. Um, Revert to vehicle somewhere, so we still get Bill back home. Okay. No, does that mean I've lost the science now? I think it might have. That was a stupid idea. Why do I revert it? Yes, now I have zero science. Well done. That was very smart of you to do. You fucking idiot. I'm going to do it all again. Again. Sorry, Bill. Of nothing. Look at it go. It's not very environmental friendly, is it? Oh, we're rearing off to the right. Which you don't want. God, what just blew up? Nothing, apparently. Oh my God, this isn't going to control. Right, just stay there. Just point up. Do whatever you wish. God, this um, ascension is um, pretty fucked right now. We need to get that to come back. Right, where is that going? How, how tall is that? That's oh my god, that's that's too tall. Right, we need a uh, build to come back home. So um, we're gonna land on this tiny island here. As if it all goes well, um, but kind of hoping 
at um once we get up there <laughs> right trying to transmit our data crew report and yes transmit transmitting do 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 yes we got our science I mean can we do another crew report yes do another one Right, um, now we need to try and get Bill back home. Um, it's going to be a bit tricky. That's where it needs to be. It's not going fast enough. Right, okay. Right, so we're in line with our um, our station. So now we need to go to a 90 degree angle, I believe. No, maybe not. Um, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? I need to, I need to go forward in that direction. Ooh, I need to go further up. What's it doing? It's out of control. Uh, we've run out of electricity, so now now this plane's just gonna go spiraling out of control. Nope, we've got electricity now, thank you. Nope, nope, no, no, cancel that. You're ruining everything that I just worked for, haven't aren't you? By doing that. Maybe I need to go this way. Yes. That's it. There we go. Fingers crossed this works. No, it's failed miserably. I'm going to die. No, it's not actually that bad. Well, um... Oh, God. Launch the parachute. Oh God! The parachute's getting damaged. Maybe it's a bit too soon to launch it. I don't think um, Bill's going to survive. If I'm truly honest. Although he might do. He might survive. We haven't got any fuel to ease the landing this time. Oh look, there's the moon. <sighs> We can we can get get rid of that. Um, oh, it's still trying to transmit, isn't it? Okay. It's a long way from base. Please. Yes. And deployed. Very nice. Steady, steady, do something, it's going in too hot, 14 meters per second is too fast, oh god, not the Kerbal, get out of there Bill, <coughs> you're a free man. Right, here we go. Bill has made it. 
back home. Let's go back to the space center. And now we're going to research some new parts. Right, so there we go. Right, so we can now research, and that gives us some um, mystery goo containment and decoupler now. Oh, thank God. Ah, and that gets us the new branch that we can now use. So, um, that is it for this episode, I think. What I'm going to do is, because this is the first time I've actually done this, um, I'm going to let the viewer decide. Can we can we recover Bill Kerman? Yes, recover Bill Kerman. And um, recover the ship. What? Plus eight science is done for this mission. Yes, so that's very good. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys decide what needs to be done next. Um, what should we try in order to gain some further steps into scientific information? Um, so that's what I'm going to leave to you guys. Um, you know, leave a comment below, leave a like if you do want to see anything of this. Um, it's just a little experiment that I'm doing. If not, then I'll just do it on my own um, without any commentary or videos. But if you do like it, then you know, leave a comment and um, share your opinions on what will be the next best thing to do in Kerbal Space Program. So we've got our our next stages, shall we say, for our fuel tanks. So we can now probably get something in orbit. Um, so fingers crossed that we can make a decent ship for our first ever adventure outwards. And um, as I said, yeah, leave a comment and a like. Thank you.